We all have a list of experiences and adventures that we dream about. But most of the time, we have an even longer list of excuses. Like, I'll do it when I have the money or the time or when the kids have grown up. Harun Osman doesn't believe in putting things off till tomorrow and he had a surprise in store for Michelle. Space is a frontier that humankind has only begun to explore and the opportunity to leave the comfort zone of Earth was something that daredevil Harun Osman just couldn't resist. To make the grade as one of three South African finalists in an international competition to attend the Space Academy in the US, Harun had to face a battery of challenges. But leaping headfirst into thin air is precisely what he loves to do. Usually, he doesn't have to don a spacesuit to enjoy some off-the-ground thrills, because defying gravity 33 stories above Soweto is his idea of outdoor fun. Nevertheless, his business does require his hand on the wheel, which is why he invited Michal to meet him at his Johannesburg factory. Harun, how are you doing? How are you, my brother? Good. Pleased to meet you. Me too, man. I'm going to show you my work. Please. All right, there we go. So this is all of it. Sure, there's a lot going on here. You definitely have to be brave to be a businessman. But did you always want to be self-employed? You know, I've always wanted to be self-employed, but back then, money was a problem. I was just fresh out of university, so the first thing that I could do was to go and get a job, to go and learn the tricks of the trade. So once I developed enough of skill and a bit of money in the bank, I decided to open up a very small box plant. And from then, I've never ever looked back. I've just grown from strength to strength, and I've added on customers, different products, different factories, and it's taken me 10 years, and I'm in a spot where I can say comfortably that life is good. By coming, I give instructions, and the rest of the day, I leave for adventure. Haroon, you have mentioned adventure for today. What do you have planned? I own a box business. I make boxes. So what I want to do is I want to keep this adventure in this box. I'm going to hand you the box no, as the day. The yes, and throughout the day, you are going to start taking out piece by piece of the adventure. OK, this sounds uh, exciting. I'm not sure what's in the box. It's sealed. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Cool. Come on. I'm taking the box. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Open ocean shark diving is another of Haroon's favorite activities. So Michel was relieved that his adventure would be taking place on dry land, far away from scuba tanks and frightening sea life. But that didn't give him a clue of what Haroon had in mind on this occasion. And he was still wondering when they came to a halt in the middle of the bush, somewhere beyond the western boundaries of Josie. Wow, look at this view, Haroon. What, this is like 40 minutes out of Joburg? I'm always looking for new places new places for adventure. And I stumbled upon this one because of this beautiful river. Right here in Johannesburg, not far from Lanseria Airport. You're a self-diagnosed adrenaline junkie. Where did it all start for you? You know, I've always been one for adventure, for new stuff, for different things, out of the norm. You know, uh, my culture taught me differently, just stick to what you know. And I said, no, I want more. I seriously want more. There's so much more. I want to witness the beauty and the creation out there. This urge to push the limits and experience all the excitement that life has to offer sent Haroon skywards, looping and rolling as a passenger in an aerobatic plane, and then plummeting back to Earth in a tandem freefall parachute jump. So, skydiving, diving, scuba diving, paragliding, bungee jumping, scared free falling, abseiling, whitewater rafting, you name it, as long as there's a throw, I'm doing it. I brought the box with. Can I open it now? Okay, you have my permission. I'm going to open, open it. Box. What will I be finding in here? Let's go abseiling. You know what? I'm here for an adventure. Let's get to it. Oh, the moment of truth. Haroon, you focus on youth development. Why do you believe this is important? See, for me, what I realize is that if we catch them young, we can build them into future perfect leaders. So what I'm realizing is that our youth are so engrossed in technology that they've forgotten that you cannot actually have an adventure on a PS4, or on a cell phone of any sort. The adventure is out here in the open. So we bring them out here and we help them eliminate their fears of heights, of water, and all these wonderful things. Because that is what life is all about. Well, before I change my mind, let's do it. 
to step down onto the ledge. Once I get onto the ledge, the fun begins. <laughs> See you soon. Whoa! Take the leap! <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun, but I'm not gonna lie, I am petrified, but I'm gonna do it. It's a leap of faith. Look down and walk up one step at a time. <laughs> that was awesome! Woo! Look at this. So Beautiful. This what are we gonna do next? This is exactly what we're gonna be doing. White water rafting. The river rafting was exhilarating. Harun, where do you get all your energy from? I am high on life. I am energized by the beauty of nature, by the adventure, by everything. That energizes me, that gives me a reason to love. Harun, thank you so much for your time. It's been such a privilege. You think you're leaving? Well, there's only one way off this cliff. Yeah? And that's that way. <laughs> yeah. When you get there, you will be, I promise you, a whole new person. Yeah. Helmet on. Helmet on. Yes, go! Never go. done this before, but we're doing it. One, two, three! Woo! Woo! <laughs> wow! I did it! Leap of faith! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. The greatest thing about spending time with Harun is that he lives his life to the fullest. And he does it by enjoying his life. Harun! Thank you, bro. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Am I well done? Am I done? You. Not done. <laughs> yes.